I, that's my bad. Okay, oh, looks like I'm just gonna have to record this and post the VOD over. Just to catch everyone up, um, the have Milan is on attack and um, Summonbug's on defense. Um, yeah. Summonbug lost point one and um, really early and objective one really early. Sigma in a bad position here, but able to hide behind wall. Pushing back. Dark Wolf's a bit pushed out, doesn't realize he's by himself right now. He has his team supporting him, just barely keeping him alive. All good. Junker Rackets behind enemy lines and able to get a few picks. And he has his ult ready. He's looking for a position to use it, I'm guessing. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Yeah. Dark will switches to a Ramatra here. He's getting too hard countered by the Sigma. Holding down the doorway. Pushing out trying to make space for Team 1. Psycho unaware of the Genji. Uses his ult but Sigma blocks it with the shield. Oh, Team... Nice. Sullenberg able to push them back here. Managed to separate the team separated. BF Milan separated, and now it's Stalinberg has the upper hand. Trying to keep them at bay here. Yeah. But now they're backed up. Back to being grouped together. A little bit of an early ult by um, Bastion. It got its damage though. That. BF Milan pro looking to push together when everyone's ready. Or oh, revived rather. And then they're gonna try pushing this, but Salenberg seems to be holding out well on this on the bridge here. Sigma got all of his health back from that. Yeah, looks like DF Melon is gonna burn a lot of ults here to keep get the space back. Sigma burns his ult. And he's get two. Sandberg forced to push back here. Yeah. They're just holding down this choke point. Oh, Ramatra's going in. Gets two. Let's see for Sandberg. DF Manan is really struggling here to push this, get over the seed. Genji gets two, three, four. Baptiste forced to push back here. Yeah. Regrouping with the team, it seems. Fashion getting a trying to look for value here yeah, with his turret form. Junkerat got a huge ult. Insane ult by Kiriko. Kiriko. <laughs> and that seems to be game. But will Team 1 be able to touch? Oh. Unlucky. <laughs> team, first game goes to. Or first point goes to. DF Milan. Let's see if Salenberg can do better on offense. Keep it away for longer. 
Yeah. I'll wait around, waiting to see what teams they have got going on. Just still figure out the movement keys, but it's fine. Give them a lot. Some are pushing out hard. They're going for a fair and mercy combo. Seems here. Bastion able to get a lot of kills here. One. Sandberg's doing really well pushing through here. They already got both healers out. But it seems that DF Milan has just barely held out. Bastion getting a lot of value from his turret form. Dark Wolf got slept. He's alone on, by himself on site. Getting back to his team. To recover. To group up. Fur is looking for damage here. Nice shift damage. I mean just going for distractions, just being a nuisance to them, to the enemy team. Sims turrets, they haven't destroyed any of them, I wonder if they know. Oh, insane ult by Psycho. Gets two. And the and his team is there to clean up. Salenberg may be able to get point here. Very well played by Salenberg. Able to pick apart the healers and then moved in together on site to clean up the rest. Dark Wolf looking for information here, it seems. See how soon they're on their re rotating. Nice shot by Psycho. Oh, what an ult by Kirikto. Got three there. Team wipe. DF Milan is really putting in the work to get Salenberg off that point. And they immediately pushed back and retaliated. Dark Wolf switched to his sword. <laughs> it seems to be countering them really well. And they get three picks off of that. They might be able to get points here if they can kill these two. 
Sigma by himself and just getting mowed down. Sandberg might be able to get point earlier. In fact, it seems they might. They might be able to beat DF Melania. If they just push this last objective slightly better than DF Milan, they win this first game. Dark Wolf getting in some chip damage. Pushing them far back. He's getting so much value from each bubble. DF Milan's having problems with it. They're all very low. Junkerat also, oh my gosh, and it's a, almost another team wipe. Practically is another team wipe. Sandberg really want this point and fast. And they did it, wow. Really fast and extremely well done by, by them. Slowly picking DF Milan apart and they had so much time extra remaining it seems just attack aside worked for them so well you must be keeping score yeah yeah, yeah. okay so that Sandberg has a a 2.23 minute advantage. 2.27, sorry. Okay. Let's see what Team 1 is up to. Now they're back on defense. Will Salenberg learn on how to hold that last minute that they needed from last round? I'm here to spot you, but you have to put in the work. Have to see. Seems they're changing it up this time. Dark Wolf going on the onto um Zarya instead of Reinhardt. Let's see if it works out better for him. Oh wow. Sandberg already have the, the momentum, getting a lot of them low. Rosario without any bubbles. They're trying to keep her alive. He regains bubble and is just pushing them back. Sandberg is pushing them back. Kirito looking for something. Unfortunately, it seems DF is getting shut down here. But they're looking for something here. Even if it's just a touch point. They only have 8 seconds left. They need to touch point here. And there we go. They just need to keep touching point otherwise they lose. But Stellenberg has it shut down. And Stellenberg takes game 1. So just in case anyone's confused on how that works, basically the extra time that they got at the end of the game, since both teams managed to push it to end point, um, they needed to just keep um, DF off of that point for that last minute that DF had extra. So now DF has to um, try to keep Stellenberg from push touching or actually capturing point here. If Stellenberg captures just a bit of the point, then they win because they have three... Basically, Stellenberg has 3 minutes and 27 seconds to push to capture one part of the objective. DF Milan was under a lot of pressure there to capture point because they only had a minute at the end of last game. Push your limits. Nothing breaks that I cannot mend. Huh. Interesting, Psycho's playing Sombra. I wonder if it will be beneficial for them to switch it up after they had such a dominant first half. D 
Thief Milan is really trying to shut down Sandberg early here so that they can keep that momentum going into the next waves. This is getting a lot of value. Fighting for his life. Unfortunately, he's going to get traded out here by the Sigma. A lot of Sandberg died in that skirmish. But DF Milan can't afford to lose too many people. Because if Stalenberg just gets a bit of the objective, they will win. Sigma's making a lot of space on site here. On the point. Orisa is already looking really low. And it seems like seems like Salenberg is going to cap point here. Victory. GG's. Kirito <laughs> had many nice ults in this game. That was just one of the very few ones. <laughs> so basically how the map selection works is um, both teams choose a game, uh, well both um, teams decide on a game mode, they then, okay, I need to quickly sort out this, this was the other thing, um, I mean yeah, I wonder if I can, Okay, hopefully that should look better. Yeah. Okay, so DF is starting on attack side or escort side and Sullenberg must prevent them from pushing the escort two points. Um, it seems that they're running a very... S I'm not... Sh not a similar comp. Um, so the seal god is on um, Arisa this time instead of his normal, um, his usual Sigma. And Kirito is on, they have both um, Junkrat and um, Genji again. I've seen them run this before. Dark will push it going aggressively here, looking to get some chip damage here, as Ramatra's fists aren't usually known for its damage. But they're getting pushed back quite a bit. Confusing his deflect, but they have a Moira to counter the Genji. So he can't deflect the bullets. Dear Milan's holding back a bit to regroup with the rest of their team. Because they want to push the sell them both back and then get some progress on the payload but they're struggling with that bastion up top on top of roof Firehard unfortunately gets taken down as again she slips his way through Matra having his ult already using a Constantly trying to keep it up. He's really low here, but his team has him. Pushing them back all the way to spawn. Keeping them. 
heavily in spawn. DF is trying to look through, look for space here. Not sure what the drunk rat is trying to do, probably looking for picks. Put chip damage, I thought he was gonna go around. Genji unable to get off the floor due to the remote clock. Heavily contesting the space. Stellenberg is trying to keep him from getting any progress. High noon coming out from Cassidy. Unfortunately he gets no value. Team unable to push anyone out into the open. Sebastian trying to look for value here, but he's gonna get attacked by the Genji. Cornered by himself, the Genji gets a pick on Fireheart. Psycho cleaning up Genji though. And looks like Salenberg has this under control again. As Dark Wolf gets too. With support from Moira. And also Kiriko before she died. Oh, she's still alive? I, okay, she's still alive. Only 30 seconds on the clock. DF has one final push here, but Brumatra has his ult again. Unfortunately, for DF here, yeah, they have to get the. They need to touch point here. Yeah. They need to focus point, but they can't seem to touch it with all this chaos going on. The Genji ult coming out, but it's not enough. Their final push was an. Unfortunately. A fail. Salambo keeping them in spawn. DF Milan has to do the same to Salambo in order to save this round. So, yeah. Salambo has to get a past this point here otherwise they lose um if they can get it past this point they win this map as well df milan unfortunately does not have that luxury and has to keep it as far keep them off as much as possible as they were unable to get anywhere or too far rather as you can see the final goal is right here for salenberg It seems Salenberg is going to go for a rush team, but uh, it's a bit of a mix because <sighs> Doomfist is known for going in and out. They have a uh, Kiriko and Moira that can help with that, but, um, oh, okay. If I hot switch to Reaper, which seems more like their aggressive style that I was hoping for, seems... Team DF does not want to try letting them get any point here. Skirmish happening up top. Doomfist looking for something but misses his punch. Pushes the um, Reinhardt back. Bit of a Kiriko 1v1 down here. Psycho really low, but somehow manages to get out and gets one before he finally goes down. Last one left. Oh wow, and they have points. Just like that. Unfortunate for DF Milan. It's really important to get as much space as possible. Play of the game by Dark Wolf. Probably with one of his ults. Keeping them off point. Keeping every single one down. Keeping them grounded and keeping them <laughs> under. Well played by Dark Wolf. Nepal. Nepal. I actually don't like Nepal, if I'm being honest.
I've never been I a fan. Know, from the few little matches that I've played of Overwatch, Nepal's mm. kind of nice, yeah. in my opinion. The only thing is I get annoyed. It's like a little bit too open. I don't know. Actually, no. I just don't play. I play tank usually whenever we get this and I don't like it. I feel awkward. Because like I play, if I play Winston, then the stupid tower, whatever yeah. you call that in the middle. I feel like for Nepal, me. from my standpoint, which is a very newbie standpoint on Overwatch, I feel like Orisa is a nice, um, is a nice tank on this map, mm -hmm. purely because of her, um, her spears and stuff. Yeah. The blockage that you can use. Yeah. Oh wow. Andre's going life weaver. <laughs> but also, Dark Wolf is playing Junker Queen, which is a like he didn't pick up until now. Fire Heart on um, Bastion like normal. Psycho on McCree. He hasn't been playing Genji after he got Genji left. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like it's a fairly stand up. Yeah. Also, his river still hasn't selected the character. I wonder if he DC'd. They have an Honor and Roadhog. Stunnenberg's taken sight though. Yeah, Stunnenberg's got oh, a point. Oh, Moira Anno oblivious to the McCree behind her. Oh, Cassidy. Stunnenberg pushing them back getting ball. Getting pick by pick. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can see they'll play it down. have priority possession oh. on the point. Yeah, Elsie's River disconnected. Okay. Bloke is AFK. Oh, that's so Technical timeout. Technical timeout. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Skull emoji times seven. No, I'm just shaking. Um, I don't know. One of the oaks are it, decent. Yeah. Are we gonna reset or lucky? Do you guys want yeah, to reset this round? Yeah, we're gonna have to reset. Okay, reset. Uh, this actually, round. shit. Will it take everyone out with us? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I have no idea how it works. Okay, yeah, there you go. You got it right. Hell yeah. Well done, Reese. Yeah, you have to go to your just settings to the lobby and then you say back to lobby. Okay, there you go. I'm loading. There you go. He's back. Yep. Cool. There we go. Okay. Take two, take two. <laughs> uh, what's Elsie's refu- or oh, Elsie's- Yeah, yeah, I already added him. He's already I, added I know, him. but what is he on the team chat? Huh? What's his name in Discord? I have no idea. I- Mm, no don't clue. know. <laughs> Yo, is Elsie good now? Um, yeah, I'm so sorry. It's he, fine. I thought our team was ready, and then I go back, and then apparently he went to go get some soup. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but is, is he ready to start now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is ready? Okay. Good luck, guys. He should never get a pushback. <laughs> but that's that's because I won't play it down though. To be fair. Being a player down in Overwatch is not fun. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh, this is particularly nice for agents that can either grapple or pulse off on this mm. void. Especially yeah, Lucio, massive... yeah. Actually, wonder if we'll see Lucio, yeah. And maybe Orisa as well. I like playing yeah, Orisa in that. Or Orisa. In Even it... maybe a Fera for her pulse. Um... And if Reinhardt, if you're good at doing the cancel, at the yeah. charge cancel, because you can just charge them off the map and then let go. Before you fall off, I'd love to yeah, see there you go. Celestial God and Orisa pick. Ooh, Just even with the fishing with uh, with uh, Roadhog can be very critical. Hmm. I did turn the sound down, by the way. I was we getting see a Lucio right. pick on the DF team as well, which is also yeah. very. Celestial God's actually really good. Very good pick. So I'm wondering how he's gonna fare in this matchup. Dude, one thing that I must say that's annoying about. Um, Overwatch spectator mode. I have to press F1 to F10 to switch between them, and you know, oh. man, ignore me. I don't know when I muted. Oh yeah, when I click you, you, F10. You, you, right when you, yeah, right when you were, um, yeah, you're switching F10. cameras is the problem. Yeah. No, no, no. It's um, my F10 is my mute key. So uh, when I swap to Elsie's river, then it mutes me. But oh well, it's fine. Yeah, Elsie's Revo really wants this space. Seems like DF is gonna have first possession of this point. Mm. Definitely. Let's see if 
Salambo can take a stand. Oh, Salambo's whole team is like getting white. DAF should take possession. Yeah. Regrouping now. Salambo's gonna need to regroup here yeah, and seriously think of how they're going to forcefully push. Oh, they're pulling out Ana. The Mercy's ult is already almost up. If if things if they don't get this point fast, then Mercy can pop ult and Smart pick for Stalamo to maybe pick up them one yeah. by one if they can. But yeah, that Rodog's by himself, but that hook is deadly for anyone that doesn't have mobility. Psycho immediately identifies that and keeps him away from heal pack. And there's the Bastion coming to support. The the Very nicely done by them. Like oh wow! The sites and they might have the point for themselves. They now. they separated that team extremely well. Picking off the ones by themselves. The team and they force DF off of the point. DF now having to retake on the side. Mm. Unfortunately, it looks like Stellenberg isn't all together yet, so they might get picked off. He did the F10 thing again. Oh. Oh, the Bastion getting a little bit too greedy causes him to die. Really good ult there. Got two. But unfortunately, they have points again. Sandberg's getting pushed back. They got a little bit cocky with the space. Seems like DF has taken possession of the site, but we have a batch of the line to force Oh! <laughs> got one of the healers. Gets one pick. Furthermore, nothing else. Yeah. Frosty, you mute again. I keep forgetting I can't switch to Elsie's river. <laughs> I feel oh, bad. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Thanks for telling me. Um, yeah. Oh, Genji ult. Insane Genji ult by Psycho. Was there no way for us to see how much of the bar they've taken? Because... Yeah, oh wait, I can try setting up the HUD again. It was just a little bit distracting with, um, I think. Oh! Let's see which team. Ooh. Salenberg got pushed back from that. Sweeped. If I do DF this. Now with possession again. Let me try this. Let me just check. Game mode HUD and then I'll put off. Um, cross end HUD. That should, there you go. Okay, now we have possession pop. DF is on a oh. high position. I better get high risk here at a 99 position of DF. If they need to touch points. They're going to have to work together right now to push yeah. them off point and get the point back if they want to win. They need to just keep touching df already has 99 percent their tank is down Seems it's like not Stalberg looking good for Stellenberg, but they're holding out and it's all up to psycho oh and the tank gets back ball is here but df has more players it's too much for them balls by himself he's not gonna last and df, and take DF point. takes first round very well done we're all played from df there Mm -hmm. Keeping possession of the side, playing together. Yeah. Even that one at one point after the Genji all got two picks, they pulled it back. Dark Wolf pulling out Zarya. Oh, back to Orisa. Superior firepower is good, but superior brain power is better. I think this looks like a better POV from here, rather than so far zoomed out, but I'm not sure. You can see more when it's zoomed out, so I don't know. Yeah. So, it will depend. I just need to get better at remembering who's on what's a lot. Yeah. Oh, Bashing gets pulled by the Roadhog, but Zari is there to cover for him. Zarya really low, using that bubble to their advantage, but has no more charges. Jump, trying to get back to his supports. Zarya really in trouble here, she needs yeah. to support her. But 
Salenberg gained point, but was it worth their tank? Psycho cleaning up, making it, trying to make it even here. Yeah. But Elsie's is on their own here until they yeah. can get more possession of that point. Yeah. DF will be trying to retake the point now. I think and they claim possession. Sandberg's just trying to do damage here. Nice pick by Psycho. Got a res up on the Fireheart down. Dark Wolf trying to look for a pick on site, but got trapped by a Junker Rat. Frying with his lasers. The McCree ult only gets one and gets killed by Roadhog. Stalenberg back corrupts right now. DF putting up quite a fight on point here. DF's really trying to make us a, a point here. I hate my life. <laughs> okay. I, I I I caught you. I, I got you there. <laughs> I wasn't trying to actually say a dad joke, but it ended up coming out. Yeah. Junkerat in an interesting spot here. Trying to get chip damage. Such an annoying spot for Stalenberg. Just getting bombarded by by bombs. And, and they get the pick on Largo. That's giving them more movement to move around. On more mobility. Side. They can take through that choke point. Dark Wolf trying to take spa space here. And they got with that ult. Really nice disable by the honor, but... Oh, what a shot from Elsie's River. Nice laser. Mercy really low jumping back. Unfortunately, Doc, it seems Salenberg's getting pushed back. Jeff is keeping this point. They have very little possibility to take this round still. Roadhog really low. Able oh, to get his ult fully down, and Jeff takes the second round. Yeah. Seems like a win for DF. DF mm. takes both rounds and match. Play of the game. Really well played by DF. Really making a statement that they yeah. do, don't want to get sweeped. Yeah. DF with the big possession of side working together, keeping their team and healer with the tank. Purely just brutally pushing Stalenberg back. Mm -hmm. Very well played. They held sight. Once they got hold of sight, Salenberg got hold of sight sooner, but they lost possession. And DF just would not let. Now arriving at Tower. Okay, let's see what the teams have got going this time. Very crap. Salenberg can possibly get another round up on the board, or if it's going to be DF coming back to tie the game. Hmm. We'll have to see what they go this time. Fireheart and Awesome Eagle have already decided on their characters. Dark Wolf going Doomfist here. I wonder if it will work for them. Logo sticking to his Junker Rat. Kirito on tank this time. He was, and they seem, and they seem to acknowledge that Roadhog was Stalenberg's problem. Looking to grab the space. Dark Wolf, except trying to hold down Spike there. Against Reaper. Getting decent damage in on the Reaper. Be able to push back DF a bit. Yeah. And Stalenberg will be able to maybe get first position on site. Yeah. They got two picks off of that. Moira 
trying to help his teammates here, but the Reaper is just too much for them. But Mora... Dark Wolf in trouble here, trying to get out to receive some healing and help his team, but unfortunately like Roadhog Deep. pulled him in. Looks like Deep will be taking possession back of site. Dullenberg waiting here for everybody to respawn, maybe they can regroup and retake. See what they got up their sleeve. DF pushing up to see if they can push them back and keep them in spawn. Will it work for them though? Or will it just end up getting them killed? Roadhog able to separate the tank but not looking good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just saying how Roadhog overextended there due to the not being ready for the anti by the honor. Oh, an ult is free with a 3k on his ultimate. Really good ult by him. Fortunately, I can't spectate Psycho him. Psycho trading it with... <laughs> Psycho trading with one of his satchels. Truly. That was a fine push back here, but it's a very difficult mission at the moment because it's only Kiriko on side. So but he TP's out. TP's Unfortunately. Out. Psycho Does able to... Is trying to get Moira off, but she's just holding on. Mercy gets her res off. Although it looks like... Has gone a different route of an agent here. Mm. Although it looks like Stellenberg was claiming possession of point, they did not have the kills to confirm it. Stellenberg in a difficult position Junior. here. Remarch are trying to claim side with that damage range. Seems like they will be falling back to try and regroup. Yeah. yeah. Looks like they're going to be trying one final push. With Ramatra's ult, this could be huge for them. Push to work. Yeah, they are the using push all their ults be... for this space. Alaberg putting in all that they can to try and claim this site. And Ramatra going huge, getting both healers low. And all Stalberg realize that they need to be on site there. Mert as well. On... Site. They just left site. C9. <laughs> DF with the toxicity. DF takes first round. Ish. That's really unfortunate for Sullenberg. <laughs> they see nined. <laughs> Haven't seen that in a while. Like Dark Wolf will be trying the road 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 here. Mm. They've got a... What's her name? Mercy. And Farah. Uh, yeah, Farah. Far yeah. um, pharmacy. Farah. <laughs> pharmacy. Yeah, Seems like other Mercy. Farah here. And Farah is quite... Oh, and they have two... It's a pharmacy a versus pharmacy. <laughs> Seems like they will have a balanced, <laughs> balanced fight here. Yeah. Uh, almost a mirror down. matching. The far far is extremely low. It seems Roadhog was not able got pulled into it. Too much. DF will push Stalenberg back here. DF is also taking first position of sight. Let's see if they can keep it that way. Oh, Sorry, they yeah. got the Roadhog off. off Roadhog. That's a what a pick nice combo. pick from they Psycho. Capture points. Yep, Roadhog pulling in the Farah. Like is able to capitalize. Kill and they kill this. Lucio. Yeah, they're keeping him off. Oh, what and a play. With the possession of sights. What a nice hook by Dark Wolf. Seems like DF will be waiting to regroup here before they push in for a retake. Oh, DF's what a pick. I've been made stronger, but... Logo falls down, but he gets raised. He gets raised, but it seems that Farah is taking so much damage. Has her ult ready. Trying to look to push the Roadhog into hole here. Wants to see Roadhog looking for a hook, but it's just not working out for him. Fireheart did go behind them with his reaper, but, but unfortunately. Pick gets picked. Cassidy. The line of defense. Here, DF is shoulders. able to pick them off slowly one by one and, uh, and here we sell them old, old but unlucky. Cassidy has DF his dead eye. D 
DF with a successful retake. See if Stunnerberg can pull something out of their pockets again. Mm. DF's really strong with their retakes. Stunnerberg just makes minor mistakes and they take full advantage of it. Kree's waiting for an opportunity to use his dead eye. Holding on to his old C, the Roadhog ult here. Roadhog pushing back, most of the teammates knocking off Anna, getting Kiriko as well. Roadhog going big here. Rezzing, yeah. getting Rez as well. DF got a pick on the whole team here. Stunnerberg again on the ropes. They need to find something that they can do to win here. And unfortunately for Stunnerberg, DF is holding up. Ult holding two of their ults so it will be even more difficult for them to take space the ult coming in from Largo is he going to get a pick possibly oh no Cassidy sets sets down Elsie's river unable to get any picks Stanberg has to push point oh unfortunate oh, when he was trying to ult, ult. There. Got hooked like off. DF has match tie. Oh, Reaper really cool. on point. Like Reaper's on side. Reaper's on Unfortunately not. Falls. Seems like they tried to touch DF point here, but match tie. seems like now, it. Two to two. Two to two. What a comeback from DF so far. Mm. They didn't want to get 30 node, <laughs> as we would say. What an insane, really play, well played by the DF players, understanding that they need to just keep them off, keep all that control of the map. Good luck. Okay, and we have King's Row. Daytime. Now entering. Pyrohot's already choosing his character. The score is currently 2 to 2. If one team wins both games, that's it. And there will be no tiebreaker. But if one. If it goes even, then there'll be a tiebreaker. This match is purely to determine who's going to be in the lead again. Mm. See if Stellenberg can gain it or if DF can take lead. Yeah. Seems like they're going for an early Widowmaker. DF Milan is on attack side. Early Widowmaker. Maybe to try and look for a nice pick. I can't really swap to them because I think I'm going to mute myself again. <laughs> Tank. Elsie's River. Mm. Yeah, oh, Widow Maker is looking for a pick here. Yeah. I wonder if Stalinberg will be anticipating the Widow Maker. Doesn't like seem like Stalinberg it. do have a strong enough defense to keep it up. Let's just see if they can put the plays in to the, keep. They are aware of the Widow Maker. Unfortunately, Ana gets taken down instantly. DF is already seeing some value from the Widowmaker pick. Looking for an opportunity to strike again. Elsie's rev on the tank. Sunberg struggling to hold everything together with only one healer. That the pick from the Widowmaker is really showing itself. Stalenberg struggling to hold this point. Dark Wolf having to rely on the heals since there's only one healer. He's bringing the Zarya all the way back to their spawn, but was that a smart decision? Probably not. And he will fall. And now Stalenberg tankless. 
Psycho's trying to make it out of here, but the whole team's pushing him. They really want him gone. Now Sunberg gave IPF point. will be claiming their point, point. here. Let's see if they can get it all the way before Sunberg can maybe make a play here. Yeah, are able to claim the payload. Oh. Kirito able to get two. Aiko getting two picks. Nelson also getting a pick. Salenberg able to own, oh, unaware of the Junker Rat. Junker Rat. Their tank goes down. Salenberg and I'm moving back here to, to group up and maybe just stop them. Sandberg, you have. Yeah. Definitely overextended there. Because they are way closer to the respawn point than Salenberg is. To the payload. So unfortunately, those trade kills did not give much to Salenberg. Really countering this Bastion. Oh! Bastion gets a pick on the Mercy. Will Stalenberg be able to follow up? Pick for them. Definitely think See, so. We have Zarya versus this is Zarya. Zarya. The dual pick, but who's the better Zarya? He's getting rid of like the Zarya healer, unfortunately. The healer. Unfortunately, it seems he has to be pushed back all the way. Unfortunately, he cannot fall. escape. Yeah, Stalenberg has falling fast and it looks like... DF is keeping up that momentum. They're going to have so much time for the third half if Stalenberg also gets it to point. Let us see what DF is cooking. They're just keeping them back. Are willing to give DF this last push here. Getting yeah, more time. But will Stalenberg be able to keep up their end of the bargain? Junkrat looking to ult here. He's anticipating it. Oh, the Kiriko okay, Suzu he's saves them. Ulti there. You mute again. Yeah. Oh, the Kir Kiriko Suzu saved them. Oh, Salimbo grouping them all up together, doing massive damage to everyone. This is a very plus the. Dark Wolf really pushing in deep there to make something happen. Oh, Genji getting ult up, uh, boosted, and also the blade, it's so scary. Mercy in a bad spot here. Gets back to her teammates though. Zarya's are all so scary. <laughs> oh, is behind them here on the flank. Let's see if he can maybe pick off one or two of them. It's not seem like he's going to be able to do it. And he falls. DF getting his point here. Salenberg pushed onto their very last stick. Salenberg is going to need a miracle if they want to stop them here. Yeah. And for if. DF gets this extremely early, then Salenberg has to fight for this last bit. So Salenberg has to hold them here. They're using a lot of ult here to keep DF. What an insane ball from play from their tank. Wolf being able to get a couple picks here. And pushing away the Rosar of uh, Rosaria. <laughs> Rosaria. Rosaria. He's just looking for damage, he's trying to get out. He's just keeping them away, separating the tanks and the healers. He forces the Zarya to bubble up. Two minutes left in the clock, all that Sunberg needs oh. is one final push back. He needs a little bit of a push oh, and then they win. what an insane mind by Dark Wolf. The Hanzo ult it looks like coming DF in. We'll be able to push the card forward a bit more. Kiriko looking for some pick to help his teammates. Put the res back up on Kirito. 
DF is uh, struggling to get back into a vulnerable position. There's so much going on here. Too much, even. Do it again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look at this. I need to. Time. Yeah, I have to just unbind that key, but it's fine. Seems like DF is a bit more on the point here. Oh, it seems like Salenberg's struggling to keep this lost, but now it's left to their tank. Their tank's down. Psycho. They will is push Psycho to lock down the defense. It looks like DF takes, takes point, point at one minute. Salenberg needs to beat that or just hold out for an entire minute on last part. Wait, do you know how um do you know how points this works? This part works or not really. Okay. So basically if Salenberg gets this point now, if they get to the last point. If they push it like in a lower amount or yeah, yeah lower amount of time, so more times on the clock than yeah. then they if, win. Yeah. No 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 no. So basically, um if they get it to point, if they make it all the way here where DF made it now then um, what will happen is that they will go into a third round and then whatever time's remaining is the amount of time they have to push it again. Oh. So then Salenberg either needs to do an extremely fast push or just hold DF at spawn in the third round if they make, if they even get the ch checkpoint, the final checkpoint. Okay. So basically they go into the third round, the third and fourth round with the time they have extra so every second counts here for Salenberg but they did well in holding out for two minutes on that last point I was worried that they were gonna have a solid three minutes when I was younger that a compliment you be the judge okay thanks for the compliment wait let me quickly rebind my my mute key probably a good thing to do yeah oh well probably not as soon as the match starts I'll, I'll do it next map Salenberg also looking to get the early widow pick. But unfortunately. I just realized easy the usually one of the healers is on DPS right now. Psycho trying to follow up with Ramacho here, but DF is staying in a group. Dark Wolf pushing them back as far as he can for his team. His team is he won't need as much support here as he can get. But he's like really low, using the wall to his cover. Almost got the. And gets rezzed. They get the Zarya and Rez and. Salenberg take points as soon as the match starts. Insanely well played by them. Before Dev tries to stop them. I definitely Seems like think Dev is going for one approach where they try and beat them to the point, but they won't work. They're going to stay back and fight for this part here. Salenberg has Dev, done well in the capturing. Dev is playing it a bit more aggressive than Stalenberg did. Stalenberg was trying to hold back a bit, but it seems like Dev is pushed up. Actually. Mm. They want to get as much space with the payload as possible. Let's see what DF is doing. Honor and Mercy trying to get hide from as much fire as they can. Mm. They're using they're committing a lot of ults here. They don't have anti. What a nano, uh, what a... Unfortunately, Salenberg did not Salenberg accept the flank four. from the Junkerat. It seems like they're looking for either some switches or something. Will that push that last bit be their downfall? Seems like they did put immediately back on the healer. Immediately firehards get dinked, got dinked. There's little do they have no idea where the Junkerat is ulting from. Ramatra has his ult here, I think he's looking for his team to push here. Trying to get some space before he uses it. Or wants to make sure everyone's alive. They don't know about the Junkerat behind it. 
Yes, he's putting up quite a fight, but it looks like Dark Wolf wants to say something about it. He's, he's pushing them back, back to the really far. He's getting so many, so much value. Insane ult by Dark Wolf. And, and he he's... Gets as well. Stellenberg now at a very, very good position here. Only losing one man. And he will be able to get back to them pretty easily. The match result seems to be really scary. Their mercy <laughs> is trying to look for some chip damage, but just getting bombarded. Seems like DF wants to put up a stand and not let them even get to the second point here. Yeah. Stalenberg gave it up so easily. But DF does not want that to happen. They want to have as much time advantage compared to Stalenberg. It seems like Stalenberg does get to the next checkpoint. Stalenberg, Dark Wolf just pushing them back. They're all scared of him. And the tank is all by himself. And they will get the pick on Zorro. Zorro cornered. And now the Junker Rat, but they know he t has an advantage in these close quarters. But he still decides to push him. He does get the kill on Junkrat. Oh, what a shot. The DPS is on the point here, just trying to... Oh, the May unfortunately, does not have her, her ice. Dark Wolf, yeah. Dark Wolf is just keeping the, keeping up the aggression. He ke Oh, what a... Sh <laughs> Psycho saving his teammates. Stalenberg here with a very aggressive push it looking very good for them. Oh no, the old combo, it screwed them over once. They are unaware. Only one left standing is their tank. I'm sure stay back of here. But we'll be able to keep them up. No. No. But it's looking good on time. If Stalenberg can win this one fight, they'll have a time advantage going into third and fourth round. Stalenberg needs to use their ultimate here. They have advantages of ultimate, and it's very strong for them. So. Oh, unaware of the Junker rat, Psycho gets picked off, and also Fireheart. Both of their DPS is down. Junker rat being a real nuisance to Stalenberg. He, in the strangest of locations. Looking for something, but there's too many ults. Salenberg gets the push. Dark Wolf pushing all of them off. It's only the Mercy left. They're getting the tank. Salenberg have cleaned up the DF. Oh, to get this lot of push. There is I'm, a I'm lucky for the junker. Gets no picks on the ulti. And Stalenberg just wants to keep them off point here. They want as much time as possible for the next half. And Dark Wolf is trying to immobilize his area. Stalenberg. Stalenberg the time advantage. Winning the round. Well done. To Stalenberg. But now will that small time difference make a huge gap for them? We'll have to see. I think DF also realizes that Stalenberg ha had a lot more of an aggressive push on that initial start and they want to probably try to do the same and make sure they either get first point and more or something more, yeah, or something around along those lines. This this last round is purely for the lead points for yeah. these couple of rounds left at least. So whoever takes this is on match points, essentially. Mm. And if... And if the other team cannot pull up for the next game, then it's, go it's not going to be overtime, but they will be sent home. Seems Salenberg is ready to hold this point with their lives. Three, two, 
but will they be they they're giving up the Widowmaker early space again. yeah it seems like the, they're the hiding from the Widowmaker. Widowmaker yeah they pinged it they pinged the Widowmaker they know from last time that they don't want to get picked off by the Widowmaker getting a Ramatra mirror here and the yeah, Kyoto, but the going for the Ramatra pick seeing that it did is a good uh, tank for attacking here yeah so that against Isaria it was very difficult to play against and they're aware of the Widowmaker, but it's not as effective. This round, Salenberg was ready, but they lost a, a bit, of, quite a bit of space already. Salenberg just wants to hold as much them off point as much as possible here. As long as they can keep DF off. Unfortunately, Psycho gets in the range of um, their Reaper, Long and they're pushing on to point. 13 more seconds. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. If Salenberg can team wipe here, then they just need to capture a bit of scroll. And we have two Ramatra ults, but Dark Wolf a lot more ready and potent. But, oh my gosh. Salenberg just keeping all of them off. Salenberg well takes done. The round. Now Salenberg just needs to capture a slight bit of point and they will win this. Unbelievable. Salenberg needs to get the aggressive push up. I actually don't know what happens if, if they don't get anything here. <laughs> I, I'm assuming it goes to overtime. It goes back it back and forth until someone captures a bit more points. The what a play by Salenberg. Honestly, it was a miracle that they managed to hold out even after giving up that space. Salomir here with a 12 second advantage to their, to themselves. If they can use this advantage of a little bit of time, they they, they can win this possibly. Hmm. I wonder Setting if DF much point. Yeah. I wonder if DF um have picked up on any habits that Salomir does at the beginning that might make it so they have an easier time keeping them off points. Kurto here with the Reinhard. And Reinhardt has uh, a dash ability that can actually push Stolenberg off of sight here, so it might be a smart play for him to stay back yeah. a bit. Yeah. You muted again. Uh, nah! I keep forgetting. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I was, I was like, that's the problem with swapping to the DF. It's like if I press F10, then it just mutes me. But I'll, I'll change it after this. Yeah. After this game. But so far, Stolenberg has been doing extremely well. But will they be able to capture anything here? They are aware of the Widowmaker. But the Widowmaker unable to hit this Junkerat. It's just too much. He is hitting the slightest drape, but it seems to be working. Junkerat. Oh, really trying to just push unfortunately up. goes down really early. That could be huge for DF on that pick. Of Psycho Ryan. looking for any picks of the healers. He's holding for it, but it's he's not getting much value. Like I think he's gonna swap off now onto the McCree or Cassidy, I don't know. Because they can't waste too much time here. They only have 40 seconds to cap a bit of points. You missed it again. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's a McCree or is it Cassidy now? He's on. Oh, it's um, um, Ca Cassidy. Uh. Oh, Salenberg got a pick. They got three. They, I think they can cap point here. But they just need to keep the Reinhardt off of them. They win the game. And round goes to Salenberg. Insane by Salenberg. Now putting them up. Match. Is there another game after this? Yeah, no, no, no. There's one more. It's close to four. Yeah. If DF cannot win this, there will be no overtime. <laughs> I think it's I'll just the, talk to them about um, 4 to 4, or first to 4, but I don't know. Or is it going to be, are they gonna, just going to say, done, GG's now? I have no idea. No, we'll no, see no. Now. They just wanted it to be done now. <laughs> <laughs> After that, that was a really close that game was... though. Jesus, yo. It seems Salenberg realized they could keep the momentum that they have for that first push. I think Psycho was just looking for an early pick, but then didn't see anything. It was wise of him to swap off.
before he overcommitted to the widow pick when it lost value. Very well played by them. Okay, so we are just gonna we're just gonna replace our um the the celestial god guy because he has to go. Okay. Um, now. Yeah. Um, and then are we gonna do first of all or um thingy because it's almost six now, and I don't know how you guys want to proceed. Um, no, because sure. I feel like because I feel like calling it now would be kind of cheap, like saying like oh it's best of four. Um, sorry guys, but so that's why I want to let you guys decide and then. Honestly, yeah. like, look, I don't, I don't mind if if you want to go, if like, it's not cheap. I, I think it's it's fine because, um, mm. like, I also have to go do things at um, like that's like actually now. Oh, um, yeah, um, one, yeah. So I, I think we call it um, Stalinberg um, when. So, okay. Yeah.